Hello, are you ready for some Final Fantasy VIII action? It's interesting because if you have Renoa in your party... For this section of the game, she actually wakes you up and she's like asking you to take her on a tour of the garden. I didn't, I didn't get that because... I put her in the other party that goes to the missile base, so she isn't here right now. Um, it gives you a little bit more of a look into their relationship because they start to they start to warm up to each other a little bit more now. He's having none of it. We kind of get free reign of the garden again for a little bit. cafeteria? I think it is. Let's try one ahead. You can do like the triple triad quests. This is the parking lot. You can do like the triple triad quests and whatnot at this point. Which I haven't decided if I'm going to really do. That's the training centre. The cafeteria must be this way. Yeah, I haven't decided if that's what I want to do yet, but we shall see. Is it you? I forget. I forget the layout. Yeah, it is. What's up, Squall? Long line as usual. You gonna line up? Yep. And get behind me. Pretty quick line, that's for sure. Sold out for today, sorry. <laughs> no hot dogs for Zell. Okay, bye. I'll lend an ear. But seriously, if all these youngsters around, I'm beginning to feel young myself. I'll start thinking to myself, hey, I'm, I'm still all that, you know what I mean? What am I saying? Well, anyway, I have a son about your age, but he's just so incompetent and... So my son, he's not as bright as all of you here, so... I was worried about his future, then about a year ago. I'm going on a journey to see what I can do, he said. Can you believe him? I was really surprised at first, but my son has this serious look I've never seen before. So I built enough courage and told him to go for it. Well, when I look back at it now, all he did was make my husband and me worry. Oh my, has he matured? He's growing up, I tell you. Don't get slow me without him. Oh, I'm sorry, I got carried away. Whenever I see youngsters, I just get nostalgic. I wonder who he is now. here. I think that's like an ongoing, it's like an ongoing story, I think. anything else around we're about to we're about to go into a boss fight and the story's about to get a bit weirder as well i'm worried about mom and pop back in Ballon. but i knew a time like this would come eventually have me to embark on a never-ending journey it's not that deep dude i also feel like this game's really loud one second I don't know why the PS4 captures so much louder than everything else. Man, just gazing at the ocean kind of makes you forget about all that studying we endured. Bound 
this ocean. I wonder what's to become of us. Don't think we'll be graduating for a while. Wish we could go far, far away. Very relaxing. There's a lot of nice little world building if you just take the time to stop and smell the roses every now and then. No one in the infirmary. Student ID number 41269, Squall. Yes. The garden master wishes to see you. Report to the master's room right away. Where is the master's room? Take the elevator to level B1. You have permission. I shall. Sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit and no one wanted to hear that. Please listen to me. The headmaster's here. What are you guys doing down here? What? Oh, me? I came down because I saw you guys. Let go of me. I'm not finished. Greedy son of a bitch. Why did I even bother talking to you? Seeds are bought up for the future. And that future is now. Why can't you understand? Damn it. I should have never trusted you. I wish I could go back ten or so years. To tell myself that you're nothing but a money-grubbing son of a bitch. Then I never would have built this place. Squall? You heard everything. Yes. I'm embarrassed, but sometimes even old men like me lose their temper. Get out of here. Sir, I still have to give you my report. Please come to my office later. the seed to return from Galbadia, correct? Yes. It's about time. Master Norg has been waiting for you. Come. Whenever Master Norg calls you, be sure to be there within three seconds. Three seconds are up. Yeah, there's like a big monster man living underneath the garden. <laughs> this is the garden master? The proprietor of garden? He's not human? Come to think of it, we didn't know anything about him. What a shock. 
give your report on the sorceress. Uh, where do I start? Answer him quickly. Be concise. So yeah, this is what the... Remember when I was saying that the garden faculty and the head, headmaster were kind of at odds with each other? This is why. It's gonna be a sad report. We failed to assassinate the sorceress Adea. Confirmation of Headmaster Sid's order was made at Galbadia Garden. After Irvine Kineas of Galbadia Garden joined our party, we set off to carry out the Sorceress assassination order from Balam and Galbadia Gardens. Balam and Galbadia's orders? You were fooled! Fooled? I... don't understand. Explain to them! So yeah, this is where the plot gets weird. <laughs> a lot of weird things start happening, and that's why there's a theory that Squall's dead, which I think I'll get into at some point further down the line. Um, but yeah, there's a theory that Squall died at the end of this one, and that's why it gets so weird. Again, the devs have already said that's not the case. But a lot of people say that the story gets incomprehensible, which I don't think is quite fair, because it's still comprehensible, it just gets very strange. <laughs> There's a lot of contrivance. Master Norg has known about the alliance between the President of Galbadia and the Sorceress. He heard it from the Galbadian Garden Master himself. The Galbadia Garden Master? The Master of Galbadia is a subordinate of mine named Martine. Remember Martine? Yes, in fact, the Sorceress and the Garden are closely connected. That is why the Sorceress will definitely try to gain hold of all gardens. So Master Nork sent an official order to Galbadia Garden. It was to kill the Sorceress, and assassination was thought to be the best means. But... That sly weasel Martin used her as a last resort for the assassination. He gave that order to place the blame on me! That... that bastard! It's, it, this is a weird scene anyway, because, like, it, you think it's going to be leading to this big plot reveal, right? But it kind of doesn't. <laughs> this kind of happens, and then the game kind of forgets about it all. <laughs> and then re-explains what's actually going on. Like I said, it's not incomprehensible. I just think it could it could have done with, like, a rewrite. Maybe one more rewrite. Are you saying that Balam Garden has nothing to do with that order? You just happened to show up before the mission was to be carried out. They used you. But the operation failed. The sorceress is still alive and... The sorceress retaliated just as we suspected. No doubt it was the sorceress who ordered the missile attacks. Something must be done to calm the sorceress's anger. In order to do so, we need to hand over those involved in the assassination to the sorceress. We had to show Balam Garden's sincerity. Wait a minute, that's just... Offer the seed's head on a silver platter and pretend we obey the sorceress. What? Cowardly. Why aren't we fighting the sorceress? What about all the training we endure every day? What good is it? What did you say? Yeah, Squall, give him hell. You lost to the sorceress. Quit your whining. Master Sid was saying the same thing. Sid? That idiot Sid dispatched Seas to kill the sorceress. And if you fail, this garden will be done for. My garden, it will be all over. That idiot Sid, has he forgotten that it was I who put up the money to establish garden? I wanted to offer the sorceress's Sid. The sorceress Sid's head along with seeds. I ordered the students to find Sid, but they sided with him. This is my garden! No! Not just yours. Then what is it? Is it Sid and Adeas? That pathetic married couples? Oh! <laughs> Drama! I don't get it. Now I understand. Sid and Adair are trying to take Garden away from me! 
He's, he's generally just really fucking paranoid. <laughs> You're one of Sid's followers, aren't you? Prepare to die! It's a shame that I don't have mug, because you can mug some, um, like, stat boosting items from this guy. He has, like, those little pods on the side of his thing. His whatever it is. And you can kind of attack them. When it goes red, it starts using lots of magic on you. And you can steal or mug some pretty cool items from them. But, more importantly, when I break this thing open... Importantly, damn those seeds! This is my garden. You can't do as you please. Watch me. You can get Leviathan from him. What do you need to do first? All right, cool. Now we kill him. It's interesting because you don't actually kill him. I'm done for! <laughs> I'm afraid of you! You don't actually kill him. He kind of goes into like a cocoon and then the game just forgets he exists. It's weird. <laughs> the game does a lot of weird things. It also gives us Leviathan though. He kind of goes into like a cocoon. Which get exp it gets explained in like a side quest later on. Forget about it for now. What do you mean? For this is another thing. There's a lot of um, instead of like the game trying to explain what the hell's going on, it's just like, oh, we couldn't possibly figure this out now. Let's just forget about it. <laughs> Look what just happened. What's the point in talking about it now? You don't know what's going on either. It's just crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. You're like a helpless puppet being manipulated in some major scheme. Ah, oh, are you talking about fate? Aren't we all just helpless puppets being manipulated in a major scheme? I'll talk to the headmaster. I'm sure he knows what's going on. Yeah. I'm going to see the headmaster. There's a draw point here too, I think. It's like a hidden draw point, right? In, in his pod, I think. I think, isn't there a... There, there's bio. I mean, I don't need it, but it's there. <laughs> right, how do I want my party to be set up? I forget what Leviathan can do. Let's check that first. We definitely want support magic refine first. Oh, support so potions would be cool. Spirit Junction and Magic Junction. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna remove everyone's GFs at this point. I'm gonna unjunction everyone. We're gonna sort this out. Right, okay. So with Squall, I think what I want is Do I, what do I want? I'll give him Diablos. Give him Shiva, because that's got strength. And I guess Siren, maybe? I won't, he won't have HP Junction, though. 
I freaked. I guess in vitality. I forget in spirit, maybe that? I don't use magic with him anyway, so. He won't have dark side, but I think that's just it's overkill anyway. give him lots of strength at least. Um, we'll give him draw item. Use haste berserk and protect on everyone. I mean, it's <laughs> pretty good. Never use GF either, that's the thing. He doesn't have status attack though, which is a shame. Alright, quest this we will give Quetzalcoatl and Brothers, and she gets a Strength Junction too, to attack, draw, card, item. But that means Zell doesn't get HP Junction, right? He'll have that. He doesn't get HP junction now. Oh, I've messed it up. <laughs> Screwed that up, didn't I? You can get dark side. GF. Or maybe we'll go with that for now. I guess it's not a big deal that he doesn't have a ton of HP. Like, way more HP than he needs. Do any of these have HP junction or am I just waiting for the next one to give to him? You do! Okay, that's why. That's why. We'll get Mug and then we'll get HP junction on him. I think that should balance it out quite well at that point. Yeah, it seems like this is the most well-balanced I can make the party right now. Or it will be once I get HP Junction on Diablos. Does that mean you have status attack? Cool, I want... I want Squall to have status attack as well. I'll have if Reed doesn't learn status. I mean, status defense, not status attack though. Let's give you magic junction. I mean, it's fine for now. At this point, I'm min maxing, you know what I mean? Like, the, game's, the game's already beaten at this point. Just from virtue of how strong Squall is. But what I want to do is I want to I want to give Squall status attack because then I can put 100 drains. I want to put like you can put 100 drains on his attack. And then when you attack, it like it sucks all of the. It, you get. I, I don't think it's like 100, 100%, but you essentially heal yourself with the damage that you attack with. What my original plan was was to give him Diablo, so he has Dark Side, and also Drain, and he becomes incredibly powerful and basically invincible too. But I mean. Kind of becomes a bit ludicrous at that point. How do I leave? Like you can act like I've broken the game already, but you can make these guys even stronger.
Like, you can become ridiculously powerful on this game <laughs> if you do it right. Let's just head back to the dormitory to save it. So I don't have to do all those junctions again. Oh, the fast travel thing stops working, doesn't it? That sucks. One of the things that bugs me on this game of the uh, of the dormitories, you don't get you don't get the go to sleepy sleep music. Oh, anyway, let's go talk to the headmaster. Find out what the hell's going on. <laughs> Yeah, let's just double check. My guy should be 65, 163, 69, okay. After the next sequence in the game, we'll be able to... The world will open up to us. We'll be able to roam around the open world and... Uh, there's all sorts of stuff we can do then. That won't be this episode, that'll probably be next episode, but... Oh wait, he's in the infirmary, isn't he? I remember. He doesn't have an office anymore. is kind of... I'm okay now, Doctor. Are you sure? Yes, I believe I'm done crying. Oh, make it easy, okay? He's got a lot on his mind. Telling me. I had to assassinate his wife. <laughs> you all see me in such an embarrassing state. What should we talk about? The real meaning of seed. Please tell me the real meaning of seed. Seed is seed, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. You know something about seed? I never know anything. <laughs> seed will defeat the sorceress, the garden will trade seed members. The many missions around the world are only training for the final battle against the sorceress. And now that sorceress has become a major threat, our true mission has begun. Please tell me about Sorceress Adea. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. She's been a sorceress since childhood. I married her, knowing that. We were happy. We worked together, the two of us. We were very happy. One day, Adea began talking about building the garden and trading seed. I became obsessed with that plan. But I was very concerned with Seed's goal that one day, Seed might fight Adea. She laughed and told me that would never happen. However... Tell me about Master Norg. He's from the Shumi tribe, a black sheep of the tribe one might say. We met while I was running around trying to find funds to build the garden. He became interested in building the garden and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding it was completed. 
However, we needed an enormous amount of funds to run the garden, so we began dispatching seeds around the world as a means of supporting the garden. I'm saying garden, Mog's idea was right on the money. An enormous amount of capital began flowing into the garden, and the garden began to stop saying garden. <laughs> Lost sight of our high ideals. The truth was covered up. It's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. I want to make a report. No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess what must have happened. What do we do now? We must stop drifting around soon. I only hope we can get things back to the way they were. Okay, bye! Hello. What is it? Are you injured again? <laughs> again? I forget where to go now. Let's head back to the dormitory. Normally, when you're not sure where to go, you have to head to the entrance, and there's normally something that happens there. There we go. It's Sue! Have you seen the headmaster around? He's at the infirmary. What's up? Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself. There's a ship approaching. It could be Galbadians or worse. The sorceress might be aboard. Coming to attack us. Let's tell the headmaster right away. Ship? A Galbadian ship? Is Headmaster Sid here? No, he's not here. Are you from Galbadia? We are seeds. This is a day of ship. We are sorceress a day of seed. Coming aboard. We're unarmed. Please, we come in peace. We must speak to Headmaster Sid. Where is he? Headmaster, we've come for a loan. A loan? <laughs> it's too dangerous here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. That girl from Windhill? Squall, you know who she is? Please go find her. She's here somewhere in the garden. Doesn't tell you where, but I know where she is. <laughs> yes, sir. Squall, Elena's that girl, huh? That little girl Laguna was looking after? Probably. Because, you know, <laughs> everyone's name is completely unique. So she's in the garden, where is she? Let's split up and look for her. We're gonna learn a bit about Squall now.
she's in the library. It's over here. It's her. It's that woman, remember? That's alone. Oh, growed up. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes. You're alone. The alone. You know Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. And tell me, what is this that we experience? Sorry, Squall, it's, it's hard to explain. But one thing, it's about the past. So this is where the, this is where the major theme of Final Fantasy VIII starts to come in now. So we're viewing the past. People say you can't change the past. But even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Change the past? Is she serious? Give me a break. Are you the one responsible? Are you the one taking us to that dream world? I'm sorry. Not again. So much I don't understand. Why me? I have enough problems as it is. Don't get me involved in this. This is where it boils over. I'm sorry. Don't... Don't count on me. Squall, did you find alone? Um, I'm alone. You alright? What alone said under her breath was... You're my only hope. Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. I've made it this far by myself. Sure, I couldn't do a thing when I was a kid. I've depended on others, but... I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. It's a lie. I don't know anything. I'm confused. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Someone tell me. Someone? So I'll end up depending on others after all. Sis? I'm all alone. I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. So the idea is that Squall... Squall's an orphan and he grew up with no one. He grew up all alone. And because of that, he... He has problems trusting people. He has problems letting people in. He just wants to do it all on his own because 
like I said, I find it, if you, if you know me, you know why I'm going to find that really relatable. And it is true. Like when you've been through that, you don't, you don't want to let people in. Because you're just afraid that if you let people in, they'll just leave you again and then you have to start from square one. It's too, it's too dangerous. What? Well, I've been thinking, routine. Yeah, we haven't really talked lately. So again, this is like for Noah here normally. Don't tell me there's nothing to say. Not that I have anything to say, but well, you know. Wanna go kick some monster butt in the training center? Sounds good. I think if you have Renoa here, he gives her like a, a tour around. It's it's actually more endearing with Renoa. I kind of regret not picking her for this playthrough. He gives her a tour around garden and they kind of, they start to bond and it's nice. Kind of lifestyle gets you so out of shape. Gets you thinking too much, all that stuff. Is he trying to cheer me up? Sorry, Zell. So the thing about Squall and what little bits we've been seeing is that he has some past trauma that he's struggling to remember. All he remembers is losing his sister. He doesn't even really remember who Sis is. He just remembers the pain of losing her and he, he's going to do anything to make sure that he won't feel that pain again. He has severe abandonment trauma and it's it's written really well. It, it tracks completely with how this plays out in real people. Being stuck in your head, not letting your emotions out or letting people get close because that fear and abandonment and the recollection of that pain you felt is something that you will make sure will never happen to you again. I felt the exact same way when I was a teenager after suffering through the loss of both my parents. Humans are hardwired to protect themselves from harm physical and psychological even if it means pushing out the things that can help you and make you feel better it's it's kind of basic survival instinct but it, it works against us a lot of the time no training center for us today hello everyone this is the headmaster speaking the lion's been fixed and i'm glad to be back on the air hurrah um whoa <laughs> whoa Oop. Boy, it's a slow day. It's about to not be a slow day. <laughs> Such a legendary fisherman. <laughs> not giving it up for anything. Oh, never mind. Squall, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office, because it's always Squall, right? <laughs> Has to be Squall. It's almost like it's fated. Everybody, please remain calm. Also, please do not leave the garden under any circumstance until you are permitted. We'll try to get things back in order ASAP. Thank you for your cooperation. What do you need? You've landed on Fisherman's Horizon. Please go ashore with Christus and Zell. Find the local mayor and apologize for this accident. Tell him that we come in peace. Take a look around the city while you're there too. Yes, sir. Oh, I have to go. You have something you want to tell me? No. Seed is not just a special force for combat. I want you to see the world. To broaden your horizons, I have high expectations of you, Squall. Now go! Okay. <laughs> okay. What's up? Are we going to Fisherman's? A new mission? We'll land at Fisherman's Horizon. Fisherman's Horizon is has one of the best the best themes of all of Final Fantasy.
It's very chill. It's very relaxing. What are you doing? You look mischievous. I wonder what's going to happen if I open this door. It says do not open, so I'm kind of curious. An emergency exit, dude. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here they come. We've come to warn you before you go ashore. Do not engage in any type of armed conflict in the city. We do not tolerate belligerence here. Do you understand? Yes. We are representatives of Garden. We come in peace. Welcome to Fisherman's Horizon. We just call it FH. <laughs> I remember it absolutely blew my mind. I've played this game. I've probably beaten this Final Fantasy more than any other Final Fantasy for some reason. I don't know why that reason is. <laughs> I don't know why this is the one that I've played the most because it's it's not even my favorite one. But I played it a lot and it wasn't until like the last playthrough a couple of years ago when I first played the remastered version of it that I found this ladder. <laughs> And it completely blew my mind. For decades, I did not know this ladder was here. And it opens up like a whole ass side quest. It's so hidden away. Yeah, this music that's playing gets a lot of people's favorite music from the Final Fantasies. I can see why. It's just so it's so chill and relaxing. Hello. Sorry we almost killed you. <laughs> well you look at this. All the places I've been fishing for years, all gone. Terrible. I'm sorry, it's our fault. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, boy. Darn, you killed me. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, boy. I'm so good I can fish anywhere in this world. <laughs> I'm just so impressive. I'm not a master for nothing. Thanks for coming here. Here, let me give you this. The occult fan number three. Uh, see, I always wondered where you got that from. <laughs> That's where you get it from. What do you want? Oh yeah, do me a favor, boy. My pupil is at the docks. Haven't spoken to him for a while. You happen to go there? Talk to that lo lonely twerp, will you? What do you want? Oh yeah, do me a favor, boy. Yeah, okay. I shall! It starts like a whole side thing. Get you a cool item.
The occult band's really cool. It's like a little puzzle that leads to a GF. You get like a bunch of them. We've already got the first one before. I can't remember if I already said this or not in the previous episodes because it is taking me a long time to get through this. <laughs> get through this, isn't it? I started playing this before Final Fantasy 16 came out. See, he was making a fence with steel pipes and then he saw that. This is a confidential photo of what is assumed to be a ring that summons a GF. Legend goes that it's a ring that belongs to a royal family. The legend says she must have 665 items to summon the GF, which isn't true, but you need that ring. Yes, we are going down. Okay. We're going to Esther. You know, that high-tech city. It's just beyond the train tracks. I guess you're not going there. A lot of people who stop here go there. The trains are down, so the best way to get there is to walk from here. What a joke, huh? Anyway, you guys had an accident and came came here, huh? I guess that should I guess I shouldn't keep you. Okay, get on. Are you a seed by any chance? Yes. I heard that you guys are like mercenaries and basically fight anybody for money. Are you happy with that kind of life? His problem. He's trying to pick a fight. No! Never mind. The way you live your life is none of my business. Just don't cause us any problems. He sounds just like me. I guess it doesn't sound very nice. So, to carry on, you need to go down this way, but I'm going to go this way first. And we got the regen. Here, of which we have max regens. Okay. So I believe this is the inn. I told you I ain't drunk. I think this is the inn. Need lots of tents still. Come again. Say, the master of Balam Garden is Norg, right? Did he evolve already? What are you talking about? Norg, he's a Shumi, so he should evolve. Shumi? What? You don't know Diddly Squat, do you? Ah, don't worry about it. You'll start getting it soon. We will start getting it soon because we can go to the Shumi village and learn all about him. Hello. So, what will it be? I got the card and all. Sure. Oh, I have it already. Okay. We'll get everyone's ultimate weapons at some point. Hey, you like fishing? Sort of. Oh yeah? Okay, check this out. Wow! <laughs> what was that? No, not my window! Last time it was my store sign. It always happens when he shows off. That's weird. Why did my line go backwards? Maybe I don't have enough weight. Did you see an old man fishing by the port? Where all the cranes are? I did see him. 
Really? What was he like? What did you think of him? I was sort of impressed. That's what I thought. I'm his number one student. I want to be like him when I grow up. I heard he was still fishing when the garden came smashing towards the docks. He was fishing till the last minute. Amazing, huh? That's right. I knew he wasn't a loser, like some people said. Smart people can tell he's a great man. I'm going to start working hard now. Hua! <laughs> gonna wreck my store, you dingbat. Go out to sea and fish like a man. You know I can't do that, Poppy. I might drown and die out there. You know I can't swim. I know my form is good. Watch. Hua! Yeah, I only saw this for the first time. <laughs> like, it's been in the game this whole time. And I only knew, like, a couple of years ago. Whoa! I can't breathe. <laughs> the line's tangled. I can't do anything. I've had enough. You almost got me killed. Practice makes perfect, I guess. That's all we can do here right now, so... Let's head down to the mayor's house. Oh, actually, let, let's save it as well. Please have a seat. Allow me to get to the point. When are you leaving? It's not wasting any time. We'll leave as soon as the garden is capable of moving. Any idea when? I'm afraid not. We only discovered our garden is mobile a short while ago. Therefore, we don't even know how to move it. We're still in the process of understanding everything. Our technicians will assist you. They should be able to repair and service everything. How does that sound? That means we'll have to let outsiders into the garden. I can't make this decision alone. Go consult with your leader if you don't have the authority. Well, it's obvious that you disapprove of us or don't like us, period. Please just keep your mouth shut. They must have their reasons. Who cares? We don't want military organizations in FH. You can't rely you rely on force to solve problems. That's in direct defiance of our principles. We believe that any problem can be settled by discussion. If you reach a mutual understanding, there's no need to fight. No argument there. Try it and dull as hell though. Violence only leads to more violence. We believe your presence here will attract violence. That's why we want you to leave as soon as possible. Let's go back to garden. Yeah, but first, how about a game of cards? Maybe, unless there's like... Oh man. <laughs> there's, so much, there's so much shit going on now.
This isn't going well. Um, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I lost. No! He didn't even play the card I wanted anyway, I don't think. Okay, one second. <laughs> yes, the Quetzalcoatl card! Oh well, I'm not going to bother with the cards too much, I don't think, in this playthrough. To do that, you have to kind of abolish the rules and stuff to make the game a bit more playable, and yeah, just... Let's just get through the game, shall we? <laughs> There is one other thing in this room, though, I believe. There's something hidden in this room, which is about here. Up there. Here! Ultima! <laughs> so we're not going to draw Ultima. Whoever has the highest magic stats will draw Ultima. Quistis. Big money! Ten! Not bad. Yeah, you can get Ultima just right there. <laughs> It is hidden though. The strongest magic in the game. Only 10 of them. Look, look how powerful it is. That's just with 10. So, there's other play there's other ways to get Ultima too. You can never wait for this to recharge. You can refine it later on in the game with some really hard to get items. Here's Martine. A lot has happened since then. Vanished from Galbadia Garden. Everything I'd built up, gone. After wandering, wandering around mindlessly. The people of this town welcomed me with open arms. The townspeople encouraged me to start over. Very kind, even towards a man like me who has nothing. I am so ashamed. In case you're wondering what happened to Martine. Man, that geezer pissed me off. Squall, why didn't you tell him off? Forget it. You can't expect everyone to welcome us. Galbadian soldiers! Get him! Wait! The Galbadians are here because of you, right? They're after you. Maybe. You better take full responsibility. It's your fault. Fine, we'll take care of them. I don't like the sound of her tone, though. We mustn't rely on them. Can't be able to do anything without fighting. Don't tell me he's going to try and reason with them. I'll go talk to them. He's dead. I didn't think it was going to stay all calm, calm all, all the time, did you? There he is. Kills me to help that old fart. Why are they wasting their time with the old man if they're after us in that garden? I wonder what they're talking about. I already told you, I've never heard of this girl alone. There's nobody here by that name. Fine. We'll just have to torch this city. Wait a minute, I'm telling the truth. I've never seen this girl. Doesn't matter, old man. We're going to burn this place anyway. A day has orders. No, oh, please, I beg if you don't. I'll start with you. Oh, 
Okay, let's help him. Let's get it on! <laughs> I'd already junctioned, right? Who the hell are you? Proceeds! Get the ironclad over here! I'm sorry, but we have no choice. Oh, I'm so scared! You wanna see Leviathan? Snake boy. I do love the GF animations. It's just a shame that they take so long. <laughs> if you use them a lot, it gets old. Really cool though. Something coming. It's that thing. <laughs> What's left of that thing? We got a big one on our hands. kill him. Yep. <laughs> Never mind. I think it's dead, so yeah, it's dead. Gatling gun! contrived how they were just hiding in there like were they controlling it were they trying to kill me <laughs> just, just don't think about it there's a lot of things you just have to move on from with this game hey selfie <laughs> see he's he's getting more he's getting more open but he still won't say how he really feels but he's he's starting to warm up to people what happened to the garden? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a long story. The garden's safe. It's actually over there. <laughs> what happened to you guys? Explosions, mostly. Why don't you take them back to the garden? I'll see you guys later after I take a look around. What's up? Yeah? I, I missed you. You know, I thought I was gonna die at the missile base. That's when I really missed you. Oh. I missed you too. I wanted to see you too.
can't believe you just said that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Wow. Catch you later, Squall. You okay, dude? I guess you saved my life. Sorry for butting in. No, but I'm not thanking you. You don't have to, it's just that... I just want him to understand me. <laughs> I wish you could be a little more understanding about us. We're not just a bunch of warmongers. Oh? I don't know what to say. It's hard for me to explain. I wish... Everything could be settled without resorting to violence, and there will be no need for battles. Like you've been preaching, it would be wonderful if things could be settled by discussion. The only problem with that is it often takes too much time, especially if the others are not willing to listen. So I believe that fighting is inevitable at times. It's really sad. That's all I have to say. I hope you understand someday. I think the world needs both people like you and people like us. Thank you for all your help. Goodbye. Am I unable to stock haste because I'm out of magic slots or because I already have a hundred of them? I already have a hundred of them, okay. Cool! Never mind that then. Hello. I love cats. Of course I like cats. Yeah, cats are great. Middle-aged psycho. <laughs> My house is like 256 cats, yeah. But what's weird is that I can't count no more. <laughs> <sighs> That's a very nerdy joke. It's a very nerdy joke to make. <laughs> go now I think I just go back to the garden now but there is also the master fisherman quest still to do which I guess I can do now yeah I was gonna say there's no way that's recharged yet but I never know maybe your garden's entrance. Was it him? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh well. Master gave the okay to set the technicians into the garden. They're in there right now. Okay. Say. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering. Those technicians seem very handy. So, like, would it be alright if I asked them to fix some other stuff? Bugs doesn't slow down the work on the garden, go ahead. I don't have to ask for too much. Yeah, of course. Come on. My pupil is at the docks. I haven't spoken to him for a while. I have to go there. I, I did. What? 
I did speak to him. Do I need to go back again first? Thank goodness for the speed up. Nope. How long are you staying? Stick around. It's time for me to get serious. Whoa! You're not getting me this time. I did it! <laughs> now I can go see my master. Impossible! <laughs> Hooray! We did it. Oh, that was boring. <laughs> oh, I lost the level. How did I lose the level? What did I do wrong? I've angered the game. It's okay, you can just do this. No. 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 Yep. Yes. No. No. Yes. 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 No, that's a no, I think. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, I think I think it was that one. Right. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Nope. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That might be true, actually. <laughs> um. It's yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. No. Yep. No. No. I think was. You can cast the GFU Drew instead of stock. Like, no. 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 
No. No. No. Yep. Yep. What rank am I? <laughs> 19? Something like that? I mean, the highest rank's 30. They can, yeah. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Mm. Not a level 10 one, no. Let's keep going. <laughs> no. Yep. No. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Last one. <laughs> Level 13 test. Yes. No. 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 Mm hmm No. 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 I think rank 23 is high enough for now. If I do more of those, I'll just do them off. <laughs> I'll do them off on my own. Self is feeling down right now. I thought I should let you know since you're kind of like everybody's leader. I think you should go talk to her. I know you're a klutz when it comes to these things, so I'll back you. Where is she? She's taking out the stage by the quad. Onwards! Wow. Didn't expect all this heavy machinery. I'm also going to repair it with hammers and nails. Hey, hey, this isn't my department. And what is? Guns and women, of course. Sure. You can't you couldn't shoot the sorceress and you've been turned down by every woman you flirted with. Definitely your department, Irvine. To the quad. Oh, I wish Bellum Garden were real. Oh dear. You're gonna be happy with that, are you? This is so bad. Yeah, it's been crazy with the garden moving and crashing into FH. A lot's happened. You know, I really wanted to see a band perform on this stage. I even had my eyes set on a few people too. Oh well. Wow, she's really down. Come on, I'm sure you can still do something. Squall? Being sensitive? <laughs> That's weird. You're the last person I expected to cheer me up. I must really look depressed. <laughs> he tried. So weird. I care, just like everybody else. Just that there are too many things that can't be helped. So I bother talking about everything. There you go again in your own little world. You're not going to share anything, huh? Yeah, whatever. Why is she teasing me? I was just trying to help. Well, I think I'm feeling better. Don't worry about me, Squall. Irvine, you help her. I'm out of here. Alrighty. Now. <laughs> God. I guess there's no point feeling blue. That's right. Let's get the fun started. Oh, and what fun. Also, this, this is a very story-heavy episode, I know. The next one's going to be very gameplay-heavy, though. So like, first we'll ask the FS FH stations if they can fix the stage. If they can fix the garden, this should be a piece of cake for them. You think they'll do it? Don't worry, I'll back you. I forgot to 
Oh, I forgot to go speak to the fisherman. <laughs> Damn it. All set to make my move. Not gonna work. That about covers my report, sir. I see. I also heard a report from Selfie just a moment ago. She said the diary is open to... Said the diary is open to everyone. To, that, that's a weird sentence. Maybe we should have a look. It appeared the Galbadians were searching for a loan. That seemed to be their main objective in FH. I believe that Sorcerer Sadea is behind all of this. A loan has the ability to allow people to experience the past. Maybe the Sorceress is after her for this ability. Whatever reason could there be? You are actually perfectly correct. <laughs> So now the Galbadians are working for the Sorceress and we're searching for a loan in FH. That's what I said. They had orders to burn the city down. That would help reduce the number of potential places where she could hide. That's right. Most likely the Sorceress will stop us onslaught until a loan is found. We'll continue to hunt her and burn everything in her path. We can't wait any longer. He's finally going official. About time. This is Headmaster Sid. I have an announcement to make. I have important news that I must share with all of you. The garden is being repaired right now. We'll leave FH immediately after it's finished. We're going on a journey. This is a journey to defeat the Sorceress. Garden will now be used as a mobile base. The administration of Garden will be run by myself and the staff as usual. This journey will involve many battles. A well-qualified leader is needed for all of this. Therefore, I am appointing Squall as your new leader. From now on, Squall will be the leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Everyone, please follow his orders. If there are any objections, please come see me in person. <laughs> no, no, Skull, you don't even have a choice. This is, this is the thing. <laughs> this is the problem with fate, Squall. This is why fate is terrifying. We're under your command from now on. This is your fate. It's your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. Don't talk about this like it's been decided since my birth. Yeah, it's, uh, this idea of fate is, oh, I don't like it. I don't mind fighting the sorceress. It's unavoidable as long as I'm a seed member. As long as I'm a seed member? What if I quit? Quit. Then what? What do I have left? Don't even want to think about it. Just stop thinking. Oh, I think, I think that's real for everyone, isn't it? We've all been there. I'll just do as I was told. Command the garden and kill the sorceress. How does Headmaster Sid expect me to take care of everyone? It'd be best to fight the sorceress soon and end this nonsense. Isn't she the headmaster's wife? He wants us to kill his wife? What does it feel like to give an order like that? Hey, everyone. Here's our producer, Selfie. Ahem. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to talk to the fisherman. You get a mega elixir for it, <laughs> which I don't really need, but yeah. We'll be holding the concert as planned. The performance isn't just for us, though. It's also for Squall, you know, to congratulate him on his recent promotion. Sounds fun. So who's going to perform? We are. Yeah, right. Kidding. Oh, no way, you can count me out. I have no new music. Uh, I have no musical aptitude. She says that, but then play, can play all the instruments perfectly. Just give it a try. We have everything ready and all we need is four people. This is going to be fun. Oh, sorry, Renault, but you're not going to be a member. You're leaving me out? Uh-uh. We have something more important for you to do. You're going to woo Squall. I mean, basically, we're all amateurs, right? Even if you hand us instruments, we won't be able to do anything. Y yes, you will. First, I want to ask you guys something. Etc. Composition. Last piece producer recommended to me. You got all messed up. So there's two there's there's two songs that you have to pick from. 
There's like a fast one and a slow one. I always go for the fast one because it sounds all like, like Celtic-y and I like Celtic music, but I'm going to try the other one this time. So, Zell. I think it's electric guitar. But first... Bye! <laughs> Can I go talk to the fishy fisherman as Irvine? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? So you can pick like the fast song, the slow song, or just some like combination of two, which sounds awful. It doesn't really affect the plot in any way, but Irvine says no to the ladder, I think. That's fine. There's somewhere else we need to go first. Gotta get some pulse ammo. What the? Where is everyone? I've abandoned my friends for this! Is it the inn? I forget. I forget. I gotta go somewhere. Over here, maybe? The inn? No? This house? Yeah, here we go. Just fix it. Can you at least do that, moron? Little Moomba. Little Moomba figure. What's happening over here, then? What are you up to? Nanny? Oh, it's just you. Yeah. I was going to get the ironclad fixed, but it doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to take you out right here. You're not going anywhere till I wring your neck. That's serious. I'm going to make a run for it. Well, it was good seeing you. Bye now. What? Where do you think you're going? Step outside right now. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I'm really tired. I already died once today. You gonna be all right? Uh, probably. To be honest. I went down like. Did I just go down like six levels <laughs> or something? Ugh. <laughs> I think I think the grease monkey beat the shit out of him. Can I get past them? I need, to talk, I need to talk to you. Hello. How did you beat him? Nah, he was nothing. Oh, I got something for you. Here. Hooray! That's what I wanted. Need pulse ammo for, I think, Irvine's ultimate weapon. Just an easier way of getting it. Give it a save too while we're here. Yeah, you're, you're fine, Zell. I have to go think about it for a while. Sounds good. I believe the next one. Is... Yeah. Oh, oh shit, which one was it? <laughs> I think it's a saxophone. It's eyes on me, by the way, the, the slow song's eyes on me. Selfie can play. I 
I always pick the upbeat one, but this being eyes on me actually makes more sense given the scene that plays. It's more, it's like another Renoa Squelf scene. Piano, I think? I'm bored. What's everybody doing? We're going on a date with Renoa. Hey, Eyes on Me is like Renoa and Squall's kind of song, I guess, their theme. That's the that's the episode where I get the absolute shit copyright striked out of me. So, what's up? Tired. Bored. Looks so down. Come on, Squall. How old are you? How old is Squall? Like 16? <laughs> I think. Something like that. Why don't you act like one for a change? Why don't you act like a teen? They, they've done nothing but act like teenagers in situations that doesn't call for it. Let's go to the concert. I don't know. Why not? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. I want to go speak to the fisherman. Hello. So she convinced you, eh? Looking good together. So like, I found this place. It's perfect for you guys. Let me a break. By the stage. You can't miss it. I left an old magazine there. You can thank me later. Have fun. Just let it all out tonight. Averted old man. <laughs> this guy's sick. You finished. Like there, let over special someone too. Come on, man. I'm about to make my move. What's up? Hi. Oh, well. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Squall, you big stud. It's all for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the show. Don't let him get away. Whatever. I do like the Eyes on Me theme though. Very pretty. I think this was the first time Final Fantasy had like a song with lyrics that they like kind of entered into the charts and wasn't it like, wasn't it like top of the charts in Japan for like 7,000 years as well? I think this is the first time they did it. I don't think Seven had one, did it? This looks like the place he was talking about. Ooh, a naughty magazine. <laughs> I thought he was kidding. You wanted to talk about something, right? What is it? Um, well, it's about your promotion. Things are going to get real tough for you, huh? I don't want to think about it. Squall, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of difficult things you have to deal with from now on. We were talking about that and seeing how you'll probably try to handle everything on your own. I probably will. They know you too well. I do too, although I haven't been around you that long. You know... When you start thinking, you tend to frown like this. I 
I'm out of here. Oh, come on, I'm sorry. But really, we were saying that, well, you can't handle everything on your own. That's it, just let out anything. Anything. You want you to talk to us a little more, that's all. You know, if there's anything you want to tell us or anything we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. I know it's not easy, but I wish you would trust us and rely on us a little more. Am I that untrusting? Maybe I'm this way because I'm scared. Nothing lasts in this world. It feels great to have friends who can believe in you and adults you can rely on. That's why it's so dangerous, especially if you become used to it. Someday you're bound to lose everything. Everyone around you will be gone. Then what are you left with? Nothing. Nobody. It's so miserable. And it's inevitable. It's so hard to recover from something like that. I never ever want to deal with that again. I can't. Even if it means being alone. I don't get it. What's going on? Oh me. Sorry about that. So are we finished here? What? No, I didn't mean you. I was talking about the music. I love this piece, but it's been terrible for the last few minutes. Jeez, what's wrong with them? Oh, well, I'll see you later, alright? Not getting off that easy. You still owe me an answer. Answer for... oh. Fine. I'll ask for help when I really need it. I'll try to trust everybody more often. Okay? What is your problem? Why do you have to be like that? Are you mad or something? Tell me you are, because this really can't be you. Sorry. You're not sorry. You just want to get the hell out of here, that's all. Why does it have to be like this? Why? Oh well, this won't change anything. I think I was honest. I prefer to be alone, right? Yeah. All alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. What is it now? We can get the head out of Dodge and start doing some open world exploration. That's what it is now. <laughs> Greetings, Commander! Don't call me that. <laughs> You thought you should have a title, so Aquistus and I decided on Commander. Sorry to carry things out on our own, but Zoo and I are assigned duties. I'd take care of all the supplies needed in the garden. And I'll help take care of the students with Dr. Kadawaki. We can just focus on our destination and battle plans. And uh, will you let Selfie rest a while? I think she's exhausted from the missile base mission. She did explode, so she could use some rest. How does that sound to you? Fine. I have some reports for you already. Hey, Squall. 
Who are you? What? Oh man, it's me! We passed the seed exam together. I can't believe you forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. E. Well, it's just like you to forget. By the way, you know how they were fixing the garden, right? They just finished, meaning the garden's ready to go any time. Oh yeah, I'll be piloting the garden. They taught me everything about piloting this thing. Let me know when you want to go. Hey, why don't we go back to Balam? We don't know what's happened since we left. Besides, Balam may be the next target. It's a harbour town, just like Fisherman's Horizon. You're right, what do you think? I think we're going to go and do a bunch of stuff before we do that. Announce the departure! Roger! May I have your attention please? This is the bridge! The garden will be leaving shortly. Please prepare for the departure. I will now hand the mic over to our leader, Squall. A speech? Forget it. Cut the mic. Is it unjunctioned everyone again? No. Move them. Move the magic over though. Okay, let's go! Onwards! We're not we're not going to Balam though. Not yet. There's a bunch of places we need to go. First up is we're gonna well, I mean, not for this episode, I'm just going to get to land so I can save it, but then we got a few things we're going to do. We're going to do some of the side stuff. We're going to do all of the side stuff, but we're going to do some of it. First place we're going to need to go is Shumi Village. Which is around here somewhere. I'll know when I see it. I'll know when I see it. Over here, I think. Where's it at? Speed up a bit. There's Trabia Garden. Oh, what's left of Trabia Garden after they nuked it. Huh? Can't go that way. Hello, Shumi Village. I've lost you. Where are you? That's it. Because this, this, this is a danger. Oh, there it is. I thought it was on the same island as Trabia. Oh well. Let's save it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next thing! Bye bye!